My second priority is the grooming gangs. Oldham Council have refused now for five years to hold a public inquiry in not only into the grooming gangs, but the alleged cover-up by Oldham Council's employees. Um, and I want that. I, I didn't want a public inquiry when I was going to be mayor because I ran the police. I was going to arrest people. I didn't need a public inquiry. But yeah, yeah, yeah. as MP, that's my only tool now, is a public so inquiry. So they refused to have a public inquiry, Yes. They? All right. They had an internal inquiry, which was a whitewash, and everybody complained about it. People who attended the um, council chamber to talk about the whitewash uh, were quite vocal and all got threatened with arrest and asbos. Really? These are mums of the children who got abused and the council threatened them with arrest and threatened them with asbos Scandals. and banned some of them ever going to Oldham Council Town Hall again. That's how they treated the, the, the family and friends of victims who were abused. Um, and it was a whitewash. We need a fully independent. Now, Oldham Council... Now that, that, to me, would be a really strong vote winner. Yeah. Is anybody else campaigning on that basis? In... A couple of the independents. Yeah. A couple of the independents right. um, yeah. are campaigning on this. Now, I want more than just a public inquiry. I want to help set the terms of reference. Because for people who don't know about these inquiries and these reports, it all comes down to terms of reference. Mm. You get told what you can look into, what you can't look into, what's important. What... So people then follow their instructions. So um, we need to make sure I'm involved in that because I want to make yeah. sure this so is... it's up. not just there's a public inquiry. I'm going to lay out exactly what's going to be involved in yes. the public inquiry. Yeah. I'm not just going to hand it off to some experts and hope they do the exactly. right thing. Exactly. I'm going to scrutinize and ensure that's... Yeah. yeah okay. I've got two decades experience on child sex exploitation. I won a right. national award in 2015. I've stopped 15 girls being raped and one boy being raped in different occasions. Um, I've stopped dozens of others being sexually abused. I know what I'm talking about in this, so I want to make sure the public inquiry is spot on and will get to the heart of the matter.